I think it just puts life into perspective, you know. I think the, these are the unsung heroes of Great Britain who change people's lives every day. And for them to be honoured in an evening like this is, is just a massive treat for them. But it's also for us, we look at them in awe, you know, it's, it's incredible. There are always stories about people who've battled the odds and who have achieved so much genuinely achieved so much not just from singing or juggling or having a dancing dog but from doing from changing and saving people's lives you know you can't get bigger than that do you know what i think i've been since we started in the business every year except the year i was doing strictly which just didn't allow me to unfortunately and it's my favorite event of the year i just love it it's it's kind of one of those nights that you know you're gonna have an emotional roller coaster but it's incredible to actually meet such special people like you don't know who's going to be on your table you meet some real characters and and then you see their story and it's just really special i think it's i just think it's a wonderful cause and it's so good to support that these brave people and just yeah showing up is just you know enough to show that and i wish i was presenting an award actually i think we did that last time we came but it's it is a bit different being on my own i think just mina riche representing jls tonight um but yeah of course uh, you know riche's here with aj rochelle's here with the girls so be nice to spend some time with the missus and my bandmate, yeah, for sure. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Um, I'm most looking forward to seeing all of the stories, you know. As I said, it's very inspirational tonight and you get to meet some incredibly courageous people. And it is what it says, it's the pride of Britain. It's great to be, you know, British and it's great to see, you know, the, the, the stories that the people that have come out today. Um, yeah, it does keep getting better and better. I think, it, um, you know, we've been a band 10 years and we've come a lot over the last 10 years. I, can't, I don't know exactly how many times, but I think as I get older as well, I think I find it harder to watch without crying and getting emotional. I've got a hanky tonight. So this is uh, for, t uh, for tonight's stories. But yeah, it's, ama it's so inspiring. It's an amazing night. We're, um, you know, we feel very uh, privileged to be invited along to, uh, you know, to witness the, the stories and hopefully get to meet a few of the, the people as well. It's always nice to go and meet them afterwards. And yeah, red carpet's all right. You know, this isn't, this is actually quite chilled. It's not too intimidating. Um, you know, everyone's here, I think, well, we are, to have a, have a good time and enjoy, you know, amazing stories and amazing people. Oh, it's from beginning to end, isn't it? I mean, get the hanky out right at the beginning and it's sodden through by the end. <laughs> Well, I came last year and it was extraordinary. It was like a really fun night out. It's a weird thing. It's like seeing a weepy movie is the closest I can. You know that feeling of like you go there and you think, I'm not going to cry this year, it's going to be fine. And then you do cry and then you go, oh, I feel terrific about it. The world's lovely. It's fun. This is sort of the humble red carpet, this one, because you walk up and everyone's taking your picture and everyone's shouting. But in fact, no one should really be here for us uh, this time. It's not, not about us. Um, every year we come here and every year we're humbled. And every year I wish I brought tissues, and every year I forget. <laughs>